Okay, Chris from Arizona. Have you found any affordable gyms overseas? Uh, there's two things that I see that are really difficult to switch. Uh, two or three things. Three things. One is gyms. I mean, if you've been working out, like I, I was in America, I worked out every day for 15 years. Went to the gym at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, talked with all my friends. I want to do that abroad. I can't do that abroad I, unless I stay in one location and I don't travel. Uh, sports. People that want to watch the same sports all the time. I, I remember, never remember Kevin. I said, why don't you go to Thailand? He's in so silly. He's kind of like, Thailand's like a sister city, right? Sister country to Dominican Republic. Boom Boom Girls in Dominican Republic everywhere. They're everywhere in Thailand. Um, he says, hey, who wants to watch basketball at 12 o'clock midnight? So he has to stay in the same time zone if he wants to watch sports. The other problem was, and this is a really weird one, is for older people like my mother and father like to watch The Young and the Restless. And how would they watch The Young and the Restless? It's really difficult. They, they definitely can't move, but they, I mean, if they really stayed in one place, they could do it. So finding an affordable gym is probably, is possible. I found one in Lago Atalan, that thing. Um, trouble is, a lot of these gyms are full of just a bunch of meatheads. They're not anything like American where you got a bunch of girls walking around in tights doing aerobics and a bunch of men jump. You know, it, it, it's not none of that. It's just more of a meat type lift weights and look big type place and it's not always what you want. Lago Atalan is better than others. I found one in uh, Sosua, Dominican Republic because I've been there a long enough time. I found them in uh, Carlson Road. I found one. And generally, if I really wanted this, what I would do is, uh, if you really, really need to do this, you, all you got to do is get the hotel close to the five-star hotel. Like I'm sure down here at the Ebus or something or the Palm Beach here, I could go pay them $20 a month or $50 a month and get to use the gym. It's not going to be $10 a month, okay? It's going to be, most of the time, they're trying to get $4 to $5 a day. So uh, I work out in my room. I lift bottles, and I have a, a, extent, a bungee cord thing I do, but it's uh, very boring and nothing like going to the gym like I, I do it at home. Um, running is very difficult. People say, oh, I'm going to jog. Jogging down these roads is very, very dangerous. I mean, the, the, the traffic is crazy. The cars will run over you. <laughs> okay. Um, it's very, very difficult. There are, I have a friend that jogs all the time, and he basically chooses his locations on where there's like a school track or something that he could run. Have I found a, nothing's going to ever be affordable as an American gym? The reason why the we, I used to sell real estate, sell commercial, and one of my friends was trying to buy a gym. And the reason why gyms are so cheap in America is they put you on an automatic withdrawal, and they charge you, you know, say ten, nineteen, ninety-five a month. And they have over 5,000 people that are doing that, and the gym will only hold 200. So they really don't want you to come. They just want you to sign up, get all excited, come for a month. But it's on your automatic withdrawal for the next uh, year, and you end up paying a whole year. And then you get guilty at the end of the year, and you sign up, you go work out again, and you sign up again. Um, if everybody came to a gym in America that paid for it, they would be closed. Okay? They just no way they would be open. But the good part about all this stuff is the gyms are, you know, definitely in the Latino world, gyms are picking up. Uh, in the, in, in, you know, in Philippines, you can definitely find gyms. It's really pretty hard in uh, Philippi uh, Thailand. You, in Africa, there's almost no gyms. I, I never really seen any gyms in Africa. Uh, Central America, yes. South America, yes. Europe, you can probably get into the hotel. It's going to cost you five to ten dollars a day. But if you really, really, really don't care about money, then it's easy. Just cuddle up next to a hotel, buy a package where you. I did this in uh, Lago Alto, and I bought a, uh, a a gym package where I got to use the swimming pool every day at Porto Lago Hotel. It was really good. It was like thirty dollars a month. I got to use the swimming pool every day. And I got to go to the gym. The bad part, I don't like working out by myself, and I was always by myself. And that that's the problem with most of these gyms. There's just nobody there, and it's really, you know, you don't get the synergy, the power of the juju, the strength of everybody uh, coming in. Hey, I need some questions about Europe, but I need some questions about airplanes, and I need some questions about 
hotels. But I, I do want to mention, uh, I got a new playlist where what I do is it's called transfer. Basically, I'm trying to explain how you can take a one-star hotel room and make it into a five-star hotel benefits. Like, I always have hot water. I always have uh, good lighting. I always have privacy. I, I basically always live in a very good room, even in a cheap hotel. So usually, I'm living in the best room. So you guys need to basically say, I want to know what your problems you're having in hotels. I mean, what really, really annoys you in the hotel? I want to know this question. I want to know these things because I have answers for all these questions. Whatever you, I've lived in a thousand hotels. I've been annoyed, and just because I stay in a ten-dollar hotel doesn't mean the annoying things are. It's all the same. But at the end of the day, it's always about people somehow doing something that just goes. If the only reason you're annoyed is the, the swimming pool guy, you know, doesn't wear Speedos, then you better not ask the question. But he, I know some of you business travelers have some real simple, extremely simple... I, I mean, I, I talked to a friend of mine that used to fly and stay, fly all around and stay in $500 a night hotels, and he was always asking me how to stay connected on the Internet. And I would sit there and go, hey, you're... you're you know, you need to get closer to the router. He says, I said, walk out in the hall, go down the street. Do you see something with two little antennas? That's the router. Get your room moved close to the, closer to that, and you got concrete walls, right? Hey, tell them to run a wire in the thing. And they're paying $500 a night. You should have internet, high speed, easy. You shouldn't have to be hunting. When I walk in, I solve all these problems. But I got a playlist that says basically five star hotel converted. Uh, Convert a five-star, a one-star hotel into a five-star hotel. I'm talking about the room. You're not going to add the swimming pool. You're not going to add the, the way you do that. Simple. You just have the hotel next to it, and you buy a thirty-dollar a month package, and you have all the benefits. I've done that in so many places. Ridiculous. You can buy access to the swimming pool and all the facilities of the thing for thirty dollars a month. It's like two dollars a day sometimes. It's really cheap. You don't have to live in the five-star hotel to have all the extra benefits. Okay, ask me some questions, guys. This is the Ask Andy Show, and I'm in Lomitogo. It's uh, April 2014. I'll be back in America on Monday.